Ding. It's story time. Story, story, story time. Let's read a story time. Story, story, story time. I'm geek to story time. Story, story, story time. You and me is story time. Story, story, story time. Let's achieve hello and welcome to number 12 of episode story time with Kayla. <laughs> episode 12, yeah, of story time. Can you believe we just had our 10th episode, but now it's already 12. I can't wait to read so many books with you. I wait until we get to number like 500 or something. That's a long time away, but we can do it. I know we can. How is everyone's week going? The last time I saw you was last Sunday. I got, yesterday I had a chance of going to see Jess Glenn, one of my favorite, favorite singers. She's from the UK and she came to Chicago and I had a really nice time. I was singing all the lyrics. I recorded so much. I wonder if I even have enough memory on my phone to, so I can get through story time, hopefully. <laughs> The book we will be reading today is I Can Do It Too by Karen Biker. Ooh, you ready, set, let's begin. I Can Do It Too by Karen Biker. At breakfast time, when we get up, Dad pours some juice into his cup. I can do it too. My sister puts on all her clothes and snaps and zips and ties the bows. I can do it too. Grandma visits me and bakes the most delicious chocolate cakes. I can do it too. <sniffs> Yummy. Grandpa always reads to me and holds the book so I can see. I can do it too. Picking, plucking, strumming strings, my uncle plays guitar and sings. I can do it too. If I go bonk and start to cry, my mom can kiss my ouch goodbye. I can do it too. My best friend likes to play that she is in the castle sipping tea. I can do it too. My neighbor rides a bicycle and though mine's called a tricycle, zoom, I can do it too. The baby learns to walk today and when my family shouts hooray, I can do it too. The end. Hey, look at that. It says, I can do it too. Proud first words of a child's independence and a celebration of just how wonderful growing up surrounded by love can be. I love it. That's exactly my motto. Oh, that was a really nice story. I really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed her little Bantu knots too. That was pretty cool. What are some of the things you can do too? Do you help mama or daddy in the kitchen? Do you like to play on, uh, pretend you're playing the guitar too? Or maybe even you're dressing up for a tea party? Just like the little girl in our book. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, today we're going to work on our A, B, C's. Ready, set, let's begin. Hello. Today we are going to go through our alphabet using our hands. We're going to go from A to Z all by our hands. Now, sometimes people are a little hard of hearing. They can't really hear that well. So they use their hands to talk and communicate, just like how I'm communicating and talking to you. Are we ready? Our first letter will be A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 
I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Nice. I like that. We did our ABCs together using our hands. Los manos. Tus manos. Mi manos. Sus manos. Very nice. Well, thank you for joining me. I had such a fun time today doing all those cool things. It was really something new for you all. I love it. I love keeping story time fresh for you all, so you'll always want to come back for more and more and more. Can you hear my voice? It's a little nasally. It's springtime, so now all the allergies are making their way downtown. Getting on my nerves, but that's okay. Um, let's sing some goodbyes. Goodbye, 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 my friends, goodbye to you. I hope to see you again real soon. Be proud of all your work tonight. Now climb in a bed and sleep real tight. On a count of three, let's say goodnight. One, two, three, goodnight. Time for a real nap.